Bom dia. Hello, everybody. My name is Behjulu. Thanks again for stopping in for another episode of Rusty Craft. We are on the big 1-0 today. We've come quite a way since we began. Um, and today we have a lot on our list to do. But actually, this video has a bit of a sad start. You see, I was off doing tasks, getting ready to start building the Nautilus. And I was smelting up a whole bunch of nether brick over at Professor Bear's super smelter. And I kind of died and lost everything. Everything. I even lost four shulker boxes full of nether bricks. And all of my good armor. Well, I guess uh, the video footage will explain for itself. Here you go. Oh no. Oh no. I lost all my stuff. <sighs> no, I lost most of my stuff, but it's fine. I was AFK here and ah! And now I'm being attacked by zombies. And yeah. I was shot by a skeleton and <sighs> Professor Bear is AFK over here and so the chunk stayed loaded after I died and so I lost my elytra, my armor, my tools, everything gone. You might as well zombies, take me. <laughs> you guys are useless. <sighs> this is what I came back to. Uh, I left to wash the dishes and I forgot I was logged in. And it's all gone. Well, time to grind. I was so distraught by the death that I ended up rage quitting. And I logged out and came back the next day and started working on getting new armor sets. I had to dip into my armor, extra armor stores, and I'm going to have to dip into my diamond ore, which means we'll have to go mining to get more later. But I need these diamonds now to replace my armor and to use uh, a couple of farms, etc. I also need to pay uh, Professor Bear back for his uh, season pass because I owe him five diamond blocks for that. But let's see how many uh, diamonds we get from 30 diamond ore with Fortune 3. You guys ready? This is Fortune 3, right? Yeah. Here we go. Do -de do -de do do do. Do, 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 do. One of the most satisfying things. Diamonds. And from 30 diamond ore, we have a total of... We got a total of... Woo! A stack and five diamonds. Not bad at all. Let's grind out some new armor. At this point, I just grabbed a couple of extra tools that I had left over from end raiding and from building Hephaestus's forge, and I grabbed Icarus's chariot, my extra elytra that I had sitting around. And I realized that I lost my trident in that. <sighs> the rest I can remake, like the pants. And the bow and you know all the tools but the trident is going to be a big pain and the the stack of diamonds and five extras yeah this is what's left I, I'm gonna be poor here soon all right we are here at the guardian farm and I have five diamond blocks for a season pass of XP only maybe later I'll come back for the shards but for now, um, that's all I can afford. 
So I'm going to grind away, get a couple of levels here, and then I'm going to enchant this gear up. Professor Bear gave me a pair of diamond leggings with protection 4 and breaking 3 that I'll slap some mending on later. So that's real nice of him. Um, and he also gave me a pickaxe that he had extra and a shovel. So super nice of him. I, I asked him uh, if I should pay him back and he told me that uh, I can pay him back by helping him raid the end. I came back to grab some mending books for my armor and somebody already bought the elytra which means I'm out of elytra and yeah here's the payment so uh, I'm gonna have to do some end raiding to get more elytra to sell while I was at spawn whoppa this popped up and uh, professor bear has a job for me or so he says I believe this is his new prismarine shop yes it is now, well, well, there he is. I was just going to say, where is he? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How's it going? How are, I am doing very well. How are you? Uh, uh, not too shabby. I'm still working on my armor. You know, that's a little time yeah, consuming. I, that is a horrible accident. I uh, I haven't told my viewers yet. Uh, poor, poor lost here. A few moments later. And I hear I that died. only happens to pro. I hear that only happens to pro Minecrafters. Well, I so. mean, I guess that's one way to look at it. Uh, I like the helipad so, up here. If you want to come down here, I will prepay you, Ooh. which will help you recover your stuff. And uh, hopefully when I wake up in the morning, because I'm about to go to bed, everything oh. will be done. It's oh. a lot of armor stand work. Oh. It'll, be, it'll be fun. Yeehaw! I, Whee! The only thing is, I have not put up a Oops, sign the wrong one. saying not quite open Whee! yet, so I gotta, Whee! let me, let me do that right now. I just got all my diamonds back. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, as you saw over there, Professor Bear asked me to decorate his new shop that he's opening up. And that took me a good portion of the next two days. But before I started working on his shop, I finished up making the rest of my armor. So let's skip to that. A few hours later and we've got ourselves some gear. Um, I'm going to name it all still, but uh, it works for now. I got feather falling on these boots. That's better than the last pair I had. And I was thinking I should get a turtle shell helmet this time. I might go and do that. I need to uh, add some efficiency four to this axe here but other than that everything is pretty much done I don't have a trident which is a sad thing I'm going to work on professor bears science rig over there and make sure what just happened oh I just used a mending book when I already had mending I'm such an idiot I'm going to go and work on the science rig now. I'll catch you when that is finished because that's going to be a couple hours of grindy work that I don't want to record. It is. Let's land on the helipad. Boop! Very cool. So, one of our server mates here messaged me and thanked me for one of the pickaxes that she bought at our shop over there. So that was pretty cool. That makes for two things that we've sold this episode. And that makes me happy because I'm making them happy. They get good tools and I get diamonds. Yes. Then after that whole incident occurred, uh, this thing happened over at my ship over there. So I'm finishing up uh, with the armor stands over at spawn and I fly back to take a quick uh, sleep because it's nighttime and I hear chickens and someone has chickened my house or my ship. I don't know why. 
Alrighty then. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Oops. Ah. Oops. <laughs> I forgot I had sweeping edge. Oy. Oh, my inventory is trashed right now because I'm working on the armor stands. Yikes! You guys are causing me a lot of hardship and difficulties, you know that? Look at this! Look at this! They're pooping eggs out all over my ship. Disgusting. Oopsie daisy. And we've got a random head here. I'm just gonna leave you there. Ah! Uh. Smart chicken. Dag nabbit. If I go and get those chickens, he's gonna hit me. Yep, see? Ah. Ouch. I hear a chicken. There's one more somewhere. Where is he? Here, chicky, chicky, chicky. Oh, it's gonna annoy me. Where are they hiding? Aha! There you are. Be gone! Okay, I think, I think that's all of them. <gasps> See, this is one of those pranks. It's like, it's simple, but it's good. It annoys the heck out of people, but no real damage is done, right? So props to whoever did this. I still don't know who did it. And that finally leads us back to here, where we met up with Professor Bear at his shop. All right, guys, it's two days later as there's been some server issues. Lost hasn't been able to or Lost had some trouble setting up the scene, but here we are, our first look. Oh, that's cool. I like the iron doors, and what is that, a, a stair? Nice. I don't know if you want to uh, continue using the scaffolding here. I didn't mess around with that, because um, I didn't know what your plans were, so I didn't know if you wanted to build stairs. Yeah, I was thinking the scaffolding instead of stairs. Oh, I forgot. Hello. I gotta give you these. These are yours. Did you come around here? Alright. Oh, that's cool. Oh. The drowned are attacking. That's so <laughs> epic. I love that scene. <laughs> They're like throwing one of them up. <laughs> that is so good. I love that. Alright, and we got Doc. He's doing some stuff here. He's just oh, carrying a cool. sea lantern. Ooh, ooh, I like that. <laughs> can see some fish in there and I love the pattern behind it instead of going with live fish we went with armor stand fish but because of my texture pack it's just so vivid oh is it I love the fishing rod on the armor stand ooh some end rods good I thought looking that would look a little yeah. bit better yeah I agree that looks really good and then Give I it can put some uh, over there. Second fluorescent floor. Fluorescent lighting. <laughs> nice. Is that actually a rotation wrench? Or yeah, it is. It it's a rotation wrench. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, nice touch. I love that with the blade. Oh, with the coral blade and the mini chest. Those are some cool touches, man. This is why you I hire Lost for the inside job. The dissection is... Oh, no. Corrales is in on the dissection. <laughs> I think his face is just perfect. The the elder uh, guardian has a tail, too, if you come come in the back. <laughs> Impressive. That's, that's pretty good. That's really cool. Oh, I love it. Then, oh. You didn't tell me to do any of this, but this is just extra. <laughs> 
Oh, that's it's funny so cool just to if, if you iPad. if you fly in over here. Uh oh. So let me fly. Right? You, you fly in from he's this like direction and you. he's like pointing at you as you fly towards the, the, the helipad. That's pretty <laughs> epic. And just the extra equipment up top. Oh, that looks so good, man. Thank you so much. Uh huh. That is worth every diamond. Are you satisfied? Do you want anything anything else added? No, this is great, man. Oh, this is so cool. All right. Shake hands. That's good. Ow. Your hand hurts. <laughs> All right. I'm off to uh, work on other projects. Thanks for the diamonds. All right, everybody. We are back at the boat after helping Professor Bear out at his place. And it is time. Let's start working on the Nautilus. But a quick little sidetrack before we start that. I have most of the resources that we need to start here to start mapping out the shape of the ship, etc. Um, and I have a location picked out. I think, I think I'm going to put it right over here in front of me, this direction. Um, with the tail of the ship being somewhere around here probably or over there I'm gonna I'm gonna move around and map things out first um, then I was thinking there's two things that we need before we can continue with this process we need to move our uh, underwater heart of the sea thing <laughs> over to behind us there so we can breathe and see etc <clears throat> And I also have a bunch of turtles behind me over there. If you see the little fences off in the distance over there. And I was thinking of making a very quick turtle farm so we can get ourselves a turtle helmet and have extra just in case we ever want to open a shop or trade with someone, etc. That'll only take a good maybe 30 minutes to an hour to make. And when that's complete, then we should have ourselves a turtle shell helmet which will make the underwater portion of this build much much easier because as you can see my helmet doesn't even have respiration 3 on it so we're gonna have to grind out another perfect helmet with a turtle shell and then we can start on the nautilus but for you that'll take a couple of seconds let's go all right uh, I need some lanterns real quick he never marked the price, did he? Um, is it on here? Ah, there it is. Diamond. One diamond per stack. Okay. So, here we go. And let's get back to work on the turtle farm. Hey, guys. Good to see you. Ooh! New store. I'm easily sidetracked. Okay. What does it say? Me sell stan. Myself done. I like it. Um, I'll be buying from them in the future, that's for sure. Time to get cracking. <laughs> get it. Cracking. Because they're eggs. Alright. I have 11 turtle eggs from the uh, four turtles that were sitting around here. There they are. It's looking, where, where are my babies go? Don't worry, they'll be safe. Mwahahaha. And I'm starting to build up the farm here. Okay, quick progress update here. I'm going to place down a redstone block. We got it. They're all in place. Now, everything should come in here. And... Do this and add some sand on top. Hello, lag. And I dropped some blocks here. Bloop. They are immediately picked up. Perfect. And they all come in here. Great. So, on to the next step. I put the other ones that I had in here and I put some sand on these underneath these fence posts for now we'll break that out later the goal is we'll let these guys hatch 
and when they hatch um, they'll be little turtles in there and then I can feed six of them until they're big and then I can break the sand out from underneath the fence posts there then what will happen is the little ones will fall into the hole because they can fit in between the fence posts and they'll grow up and uh, when they grow up they'll drop their skewt which will be picked up by the hopper minecarts that you hear going on in the background and they'll be deposited in here and we can collect it so this is a semi-auto what do you got Ooh, a zf had i don't have one of those i don't have emeralds on me either and also go away move get off i don't want you up here get off i don't want you up here either get off Urgh. And basically, this is a quick little semi-auto um, turtle farm that we can check in whenever we need more scute. Nothing too fancy for now. Maybe later we can upgrade it. Uh-oh, I got kicked. I just want something simple so I can get a bunch of scute and I can start working on the Nautilus ASAP. So all we have to do is camp out here tonight and wait for these little guys to hatch. All right, back with another progress update. We have the turtles mostly grown up here and there's still a few eggs underneath them and little babies. So let's go ahead and break this out here. <clears throat> and what we'll see is gradually the little ones will start to wander into this opening down here. When they do, they'll get stuck down there and they won't be able to get back up until they grow up, right? And then when they grow up, there won't be enough space for them. They'll drop their scute and then they'll die down there. But uh, this isn't real life. Don't kill turtles in real life. Yeah, that's it. Now we just have to uh, wait around and breed them up a little bit more and collect ourselves more scute. Right now we have three. I'd like a little bit more. And it's been a few hours. I AFK'd here and let the eggs hatch. You have to uh, basically wait through several nights for them to hatch. So it's a big, long process. And let's check and see if it worked. Fingers crossed. Yes! Look at that. We got 13 scute. And that's more than enough to make one of these. Ready? Sit. Boop, 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 boop. We got ourselves a turtle shell helmet. Time to slap some enchantments on this puppy. Look at that, looking good. If I do say so myself. Hey there, ladies. How you doing? My name's Johnny Bravo. I'm a handsome dude. How you doing, ladies? At this point, after finishing up the turtle farm, Professor Bear called me over to his squid farm that he had been working on all week because he had a few gifts for me and he wanted me to help him finish some things up. And then after that, I stopped in for a quick visit at Oncoming Storm's place. Yay, there's a portal here. The squid farm? Yeah. It's coming together. All right. Looking good. Das is good, yeah. Das is very good. Where are you? I'm I'm in the nether, looking at your new glass Wait. portal thingy. With the boat. Oh, yes. Hello. Oh yeah, I do still want to do that. Before I do anything Whoa. else, I do need to go up there oh. and do that thing. Hey, you need an empty inventory for this gift. I you do? need to do the thing. Oh, there you are. Yes. Hi. Ooh. Thank you very much. I like it. It's a good yeah. gift. Are you putting in glass down there? Yes. And then you're going to fill this up with water. Uh, I'm going to fill it up with water, and then I've got to go in and put more glass in. Well, that's fun. Because you need to make... The, you need to make it with the, the squares, right? Two by Four. twos. Yeah, yes. two by twos. Two by twos, because that way it doesn't spawn salmon. Gotta love salmon. 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 At oncoming storm's place, we t 
talked for a while and I just messed around at his base for a little bit. And then we came to a conclusion together, a bit of a deal. He would help me build the Nautilus if I would help him build some ships and decorate his village around here. So here was that conversation, mostly in full. Good work. When it comes to a ship and the flag upon that ship, would the flag be blowing the direction the wind is blowing or the direction the, the direction ship of is the wind. moving? Okay. Yeah. Because I'm so looking at it now moving and it... forward, the flag goes to the front of the ship. Okay, good. See, that's what I did, but it looks kind of funky because the ship's not actually moving. Yeah. And most uh Ooh, I see that. Most most people put it the wrong way. And that like the guy yes. did it the wrong way in the tutorial, and I'm like, wait a minute, that doesn't make any sense. Now I'm looking at it, it looks kind of funky, but it is right. Indeed. Okay. It looks cool. funky, but it is right. You have uh, striped sails. I do, I and I'm not sure how I feel about it, but it's way too much work to change it, so I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> um, I think uh, Vasco da Gama, uh, he's the guy who discovered, in quotes, discovered the Pacific Ocean. Um. <laughs> yeah, a lot of ships actually had striped sails. Oh, okay. Whatever you want. Look at it. Whatever you want to do to it. Anything you want to change, change it, because I'm not super in love with it anyway um again don't worry about messing with the the sides and stuff unless you felt like tackling that um i can i can deal with that another day but um oops i just crashed Whee! Um, i just wanted to fly through your sails oh uh, your base looks so good from above yeah that's i let every now and again i just do a little flyover just to look at it. So do you want me to do anything else like around these buildings? I'm not yeah, going mean, to do it can... now, but you, you were talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, no, no, definitely. I mean, you can go hog wild if you want. Oh, no, that, that was pretty much it. Just saying oh. that I, I would build, I would go hog wild and build a ton of, a ton of ships right now, except for it, just, just the thought of having to do the sails and everything is really, I mean, you could help me on my ship, because it's a mega project. <laughs> I'll provide the resources. Yeah. You can place the place the blah 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 place the blocks. Place place the blocks. All right. And then we can trade off and come back here and build a big uh, you do big ship of the lot. line to protect my harbor. Yeah. Let me move. Where are you putting in the Nautilus? Uh, near near my ship. Cool. Um, I uh I would be totally interested in some collaboration on that because i have no major projects pending right now and i'm kind of hitting uh a frustration point so i could use take, something to take that this is a oh, this is. warming gift for Shoot. checking uh yeah i actually have four hearts of the sea and i have plenty of nautilus shells so yeah i can definitely do that uh where do you, do you need it right now because Whenever you want let's to put it. it in. I'm going to pop through yeah, the portal do here. Uh, do you only need one, or are you going to be in a large enough area that you might need more than one? I will probably need I mean, more you... than one. Let's say with if you put in the two hearts of the sea, I will, uh, I will fix up your town for you. And then cool. the collab on the Nautilus, I'll, I'll uh, help you collab with your ship and make your ship nice as well. How does that sound? We have a deal. We have a deal. I am making the two conduits right now. Well, hello. How's it going? How you doing? I have enchanted my helmet and called it shelter. <laughs> um, it's got aqua affinity, mending, protection four, respiration, and breaking three. So it's pretty much perfect. And over here, as per our agreement with Storm, oncoming Storm, he has installed two conduits underwater. I finally got their name right. You'll see that I have the effect here um, when underwater, so I can breathe and see better. And he installed two of them. So all that is left to do is start working on the Nautilus. Literally, that's what we're going to do next. 
enough with the random tasks. Here's one of the conduits here. And I'm going to lay out the outline this episode. It's definitely not going to be finished this episode at all. Um, but we're going to start it. And I get the feeling this project is going to take me a couple weeks to finish up. So enjoy the next time lapse. I hope you enjoyed that speedy time lapse. We didn't get as much done as I would like. It's kind of a slow process mapping out the outline, which you can see behind us there. But uh, one of the things that happened during that whole process was I got myself a trident. So during this episode, we got ourselves some new uh, armor, which you know I haven't named all of it yet. I decided to go with the crossbow, got a new trident, and oh, look at this. Gimli's boy, efficiency five and smite five. Yeah, that's that's real nice right there. And uh, I'm, I need to name this dude too. But uh, yeah, it's been a pretty busy episode and I didn't get to work on the Nautilus as much as I would have liked. But behind the scenes, I have been grinding out all of the resources and started working on it. And next episode, you can expect a time lapse and a good portion of the Nautilus to be finished. And also, I will probably do some interior decor and maybe build a new shop at Spawn. So, things to look forward to next time. But uh, I do need to wrap it up because I'm already pushing the time limit as it is. So, this is the part where I say so long and thanks for all the fish. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you next time. Ciao, ciao.